Hi friends, today's lesson is for module one, lesson 24. Our learning goal for today says, I can count objects to nine, find hidden five groups, and create something to show nine. You know what, I have to say, I don't wanna be outrageous, but we are doing such a good job counting and knowing how to make nine and making numbers and finding hidden parts. So I just feel like we can do a lot. Do you agree? Yeah, we're getting really good. So, you know, I decided to go on a picnic to celebrate. I love picnics. I have my picnic blanket and my basket. Ooh, and there's my delicious sandwich. Mm, that looks so yummy. All right, now where is that silverware? Where is that? I can't find it in this. <gasps> what is going on? Uh, ants, why are you here? You think they're trying to eat my sand my delicious sandwich? I agree. Shoo, shoo, ants. What? Friends, these ants say that they are not leaving until we count them. <laughs> oh, stubborn ants. Okay. I'm going to need you to help me count these ants because I want them to leave. I want to enjoy that sandwich I'm eating for our celebration. Okay. Who has a plan? How can I count these ants in a nice, organized way so that they will leave us alone? Ooh, I like that. That's a good strategy. I'm going to go with the dot to dot because there's so many of them. I'm going to actually probably have them hold this string as I count. But I'm going to count up here. And then my plan is to start at the top and then work my way down to the bottom. Okay? Can you help me count? Because I don't want to miss one and have to count again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. All right, nine ants. Okay, so shoo, 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 ants. Enough is enough. Let me go ahead and get my blanket out again now that I've, I've shooed them away. There's my picnic basket, and here is my lunch. And now I don't want anyone to try to eat it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I said I don't want anyone to try to eat it. Why are you coming back? Oh, friends. They came back in a different order this time. Oh, it's impossible to count them. No? You can think of another way to count them? They didn't like the dot to dot. They got in a new pattern, and now they said I have to count them a different way. Can you think of a different way besides dot to dot to count these ants? Oh, yeah, thank you, friends. We could put a marker right there and then count in a circle, right? I appreciate that. Thanks. Can you help me count them, please? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now they can totally leave, right? We counted them again, still nine. You know, though, I am not going to sit on the floor again. I've learned my lesson. I see there's a nice table out there, so I'm going to go sit on that table. Okay, and put my basket there and my lunch and, okay. All right, what is happening? Why are you coming back, friends? Oh, you wanted to get into a new pattern? Friends, they made an array. They wanted to make an array now that I got up on the table. Okay. <sighs> How am I going to count these friends now that they're in an array? Because they are not going to leave me alone until I count them one more time. Yeah, I could count them one by one. Thank you. Let's count them, friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there you go. All right, thank you. For the last time I'm counting those ants, I counted nine. Okay, what? Oh, they said there's a hidden five group in their array somewhere. Do you see a group of five? Oh, yeah, there's the group of five. Those ants are so organized. One, two, three, four, five. I love that hidden five group because if I noticed that right away, I could have said five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would have made counting a, a different way possibility. Oh, well, thank you. You know, I'm just going to take my food home because enough is enough. But you know what? The ants were actually very helpful because they helped with our learning goal. Our learning goal said, I can count objects to nine find hidden five groups, and create something to show nine. We've almost done all of those things today in our lesson. Thanks, ants. Everybody say thank you to the ants. 
new ants could be so helpful. Okay, step friends, it's your turn. Now, I put down my picnic blanket, and then I had ants crawl over to make nine. But what I would like you to do is I want you to make nine using counting cubes. So get out your counting cubes and pretend that you have a picnic, and then show me your display of nine. You can pretend they're ants if you want to. Then send me a quick picture to show me the nine, or you can send me a video of you counting all the ants to nine. Oh, I can't wait to see what you do. Good luck, friends.